What's going on YouTube? Trevor right here again. Hey guys, I don't know if I showed this and want to uh, how to convert a 20 footer into a 40 footer, but I showed that video, but I don't know if I show how to slide, how to slide one of these um these uh 2040s into a Look at the custom, I gotta go over there. See over there? That's why I gotta go. Across the pond right there. I'm running late, hopefully they take me guys, I don't know. But like I said, before I do it though, I'm gonna show how to, how, I, uh, how to slide the 20 for the back, to back into a dock. Uh, you gotta, it's simple. It ain't hard to do at all. Hold on guys, I gotta turn this corner, hold on. Oh man, oh, gotta slow down, cause you know I got a 20 for the back there, you see it? Turn fast with these 20s. Turn fast with a 20, boy. I can see the camera going like this. That's me falling on my side right now. So hopefully these guys take me guys anyway. They should. You know I'm like almost super late, man. You'll probably be cursing me out, but you know what? Long to take it, man. All that matter. But anyway, if they take it, guys. I'm gonna show me guys how to slide it from the uh, from the 40 position, which is back there, to a 20 position to back into a dope. Trying to hurry up and get to the customer, man. Now, in order to pull forward to drive, you gotta reconnect it. Take it off of here, put it back on now. I gotta hurry up, guys. They gonna take me, man. I better hurry up before, before they change their mind, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, stay tuned. Alright YouTube, that's how you do it guys. I'm in the dough. 
we gonna load it, but that's how you slide it, guys. All right, YouTube, that's what I'm unloading right here. I gotta go back and cut this stuff up. See behind me, I'm on a dock right here. I gotta unload this stuff right quick, guys. See you guys in a minute on the way out. All right, guys, almost finished, man. Two more to go. Two more moves and I'm out of here, guys. All right, stay tuned. All right, you two. I'm all done, I'm all empty now. Check it out. I'm still in the door right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it while I'm in the door because this 20 slides forward. So if, we, if the pin unlock, locked, I have to go back a little bit. I come straight forward. I close my doors and everything while I'm still in the door. I'm show you what I'm talking about. Unlock this pin back here. Right back there. No, I'm sorry, it's right there. I'm gonna try to go forward a little bit. Hopefully that thing comes out, you see it? It's kind of pressed up against the front right here. So all I gotta do is come forward a little bit. That should slide in, and that should be able to go forward. Uh, Cause I, the, air, the air is coming back here now, so this is supposed to be pushed in. This is an air system. Here with the uh, registration and stuff like I told you guys in the last video. But the, uh, the air system one, you don't have to push it in, use brute force. And it's not a manual, so it's supposed to be pushed in. But you see it's kind of pressed up against here? That means as soon as I, soon as I move the truck a little forward, a little bit, this pin should pop in. Now you can see, I'm still in the door, but I'm able to close my doors now because I can just walk it around and close them. And the pin not in yet, right here, but I can push it in right now, guys. Now I'm empty. Hold on, I'll explain it in one minute, hold on. The pin should be out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go forward a little bit, let that pin come out of the way, and then I'm gonna do a little, a little shucking and jiving with it, and it should come out of the way, guys. Doors closed. I'm still in the dock. Now ain't nobody out there waiting. If somebody's out there waiting, guys, I would have pulled out the dock and did it. But ain't nobody out there waiting, it's just me. So I, I, started, I thought I'd show you guys this. How to save your time instead of pulling out the dock, pulling over there, changing everything, sliding it, closing the doors, locking it back up, doing the chucking and jiving out there, but I can do it right here. Now I can just go. But before I go, look. The pan is out. Told you a little shucking and jiving, guys. A little shucking and jiving on there. Anyway, you two, we're gonna get up the road now, guys. She ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. And also, too, guys, um, when the 20 foot is empty, I could have rolled all the way back with it all the way to the tail. I believe it got to be 10,000 pounds or less to ride it with it all the way back on the end back there. I could be wrong, but I know empty. You could ride. I could ride with it back to the empty with the empty, but. I don't want to. I want to put it in the middle. Let it ride better, ride better in the middle either way it go. It, it, it spreads the wheelbase out some so that it can ride a lot smoother. You know what I'm saying? So rather than empty or loaded, I like riding with it in the middle. And besides, the weather's okay. It ain't storming on my head right now. It's a little rainy. So in case I get a 40 foot low, I ain't worried about trying to slide it, slide it again, mess with it. It's already slid. Just move the pins a couple places and I'm good to go. But anyway. Hi YouTube, I hope this video is helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going on around here. And uh, I'm finna get up the road. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.